Peace Reflection. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Ami Ami and this is Conspiracy TV. Y'all told myself I was not gonna do another message about King World, but y'all, all the shit that's going on, why the fuck not? I pulled, I'm like, source, should I, should I? Source said yes, so here we are. Peace and blessings to you all. Smash that like button on the way in. Share the video, all right? Don't plan to be here long. I pulled some cards pre-broadcast to keep it short and sweet. This nigga has lost his mind, okay? Him and Dekulu, off rip, we had the Two of Cups. That was the first card that came out. So this is just showing their partnership. Also showing his emotions towards this situation. We have the Star card, which in this reading is symbolizing the greed the time spent. Um, he wants to be first on something. I guess the story is here. Um, then we have the hang, the hanged one. Uh, he's spending a lot of time in his lower self. And maybe even physically with like relieving himself. I talked a little bit about this in the last reading about his obsession with the women. He's busted nuts over this fucking cult, okay? He's a weirdo. He, this is the Nine of Cups is symbolizing the channel holders, um, the different entities involved, like the different groups involved, symbolizing the amount of people that he's pissed off, the amount of people that are now going against him, uh, coming together. Maybe there's nine of them. Maybe the nine, that number is uh, important. And then you see how she had her hands crossed and her legs folded like he's pissed some people off so now he feels like he has to run he has to move here with this eight of wands and then we have the three of pentacles here this is symbolizing his how he studies this cult and how he takes his time with this cult day in and day out is this cult even the money that pays for him i don't know if he is with the woman or child the cult pays his bills like this is his life like he wakes up the cult he shits the cult he eats the cult he researches he's tracking down people's location and that's that's what's pissing a lot of people off too like he's spending a lot of time tracking people's location and then i can't help with this five point star to think that he has some type of connections I don't know, with like military, some type of personnel or something like that. I don't know what's, what's his background. Um, we have the full card. He's lost his mind. He's literally, he's jumped into some shit that he can no longer control. Also feel the need to say, um, when, before I started this video, I went to bless myself with the water on my altar and it splashed all up in my eye and shit and damn near burnt my fucking eye because it's essential oil in it. So that was already a significant off the bat. You know what I'm saying? Like just going into this reading, he didn't put his hands into some shit that he had no business. And now he's reaping his benefits. Everything that he put out, he's now he's getting that tenfold. And like he just, he's got big karma coming for him. There's bloodshed here too. Okay. I don't know if that's physically <clears throat> or that's just symbolizing how hard uh he's working against the defense if that makes any sense so that's what i just heard the defense the defense is here or he gained defense i don't know um then we have the four swords so this look at him he's sick over this shit him and dekulu all they do is sit and talk carbonation um i just heard janae solar 24 7 you see the star right there um yeah, let's go ahead and pull from the cannabis deck and see what we have here. I share. I just heard his demise at his demise. Okay, so we have some cards that fell out. Wow, these fit just okay. So we have sexuality. We have star seed, 
And we also have joy and light. Okay, so this cult stimulates his sexuality. Uh, I do feel as though King World, like I said in the last um, reading, he is connected. Um, he's very knowledgeable. Um, he is a star seed. He actually is a descendant of one of the first bloodlines, Ashe. So, um, but he has this deranged sense of joy and light here with this card. You see how he's depicted super, super black, but he's supposed to be giving out joy and light. It just looks odd on this picture. Like, it looks like it's not supposed to be like that. And then we have the unicorn here. So, and... The sexuality card it's like he's hiding he's being chained with his sexuality he's sexually attracted to nature boy like i talked about in the last reading i share mm. <clears throat> my throat's dry we have solitude he's solid he feels comfortable in the hermit mode in hiding this sexuality because he knows that if he comes out with this sexuality that that's it for him and like his family life or whatever and we have the wind we have confusion ashe this is what he's dealing with come through source come through spirits so he's confused i just heard confused on sens or sensuality and sexuality and spirituality um still stuck in this religious realm the earth came out crone ascension like i said he um he's tied to some ancient spirits here also desire he has twisted desires he's chained to his sexuality ashe and that's the seas so we have all the we no not all of them because we don't have fire but we have wind earth and seas here so there's that to me some wow fire just came out i was about to say a, a imbalance but courage here so he's fucked up on all different levels but there's also this sense of balance and i think that balance is in this weird obsession that he has this solitude that he has when he's fixated on this cult ashe come through source integrity he's lacking integrity mm. we tapping in we tapping into your shit king world okay we tapping into your shit, the sun card. All right, let's go ahead and clarify these cards, source. Ashe, Ashe, up. Oh. Mm, seduction. Ashe, look. He is chained to the seduction. Look at all that shit. The people don't even have faces. That's some heavy shit. And you see how this one is hiding? Like he's turned away. He's shameful, but he's chained. Nigga, if you don't, nigga, if you don't sling that dick in a nigga's mouth, like, if you don't just be yourself, Ashe, like, what the fuck? Like, who cares? Who cares? Um, confirmation. This is confirmation. Everything I just said is confirmation. We could close out this reading right here, right now. But we're going to go ahead and tap a little further into the energy, Ashe. Okay. Okay, so... I'm being told that all these cards need to be pulled. So we have the metaverse here. Okay. He wants to rule the metaverse. He's entrapped, encased by the metaverse. His only form of income is the metaverse. I just heard activists as well. Um, autonomy so there, like i said there's an imbalance here with the divine masculine and feminine because he's not owning his femininity he's just continuously in logic it takes a lot of logic y'all just think about it to think about this on a deeper level metaphysically just a deeper level than surface it takes a lot of efforts a lot of logic okay it takes a lot of sun power a lot of fire to be able to know how to pinpoint and track people's locations and you know, off dr different tree branches and whatever the fuck what you know what i'm saying so there's no create he's lacking the creativity there's a blockage in the sacral chakra and the root chakra <laughs> all the chakras the throat chakra um he cusses people out a lot, talks down on people, spell casts a lot, but 
He's entrapped though. He's projecting Ashe. Thank you, Source. He's he's and but he's just projecting that into a black mirror, which is coming back onto him. It's almost like the phone is sucking his energy. If that makes sense, I just said. Um my my throat is dry as hell. We have freedom. He feels free when he's encased in the solitude of being trapped into this cult. I 